everybody, welcome to the show. Hello everyone, welcome back to Raising A to Z. There's the YouTube channel all about homeschooling. My name is Amanda. It is the holiday season and if you have been following us for a while, you know that it is my absolute favorite season of the entire year. And so um, I've started doing a lot of Christmas content and last week I was sharing how I actually plan for Christmas. So that video is up here and I was talking about how I like to make Christmas magical, but also keep it budget friendly and affordable and you know, throw in some educational elements in there as well. So if you're looking for that video, it's gonna be up here. And in that video, I was talking a little bit about some of the lists that I like to make. I like to make lists for people who I need to get gifts for in terms of like coaches and colleagues and neighbors and all that kind of stuff. I like to make a list for like what kind of recipes we're gonna do. One of the other lists that we do is what we're gonna get getting the kids and what the kids want for Christmas. One of the lists I didn't really include in that video is what I want for Christmas. And so that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna to share some of my favorite things that I have gotten last year that I think have made my life as a homeschool parent and homeschool mom so fantastic and really, really helpful. Um, I include a few things that I'm hoping will end up under the tree for myself this year. Before I do that, why don't you guys take a second and go down here and uh, subscribe and then click the bell so you get notifications when we put out a new video every single Monday. And that's a great thing to do, especially if you like these kinds of videos. Before I get into some suggestions for your Christmas wish list, I highly recommend you actually make a list. I think as parents, and especially as the homeschool parent and as the home, the mom, I find sometimes we expect our spouses to be mind readers. And sometimes we forget um, because we're taking care of so many people and we're kind of in charge of so many different things. Sometimes we forget to voice what we need and what we want, especially during the holidays because we're spending so much time making sure it's magical for everybody else. We forget to make a list of what we want. And so I first off recommend you make a list. Make a, make a list of what you actually want. Take some time, think about it, shop around, come up with some ideas, make a list. Secondly, don't be afraid to include some very specific things and details on your list. So for example, we tend to do toiletries for our stockings. It's just kind of how we keep Christmas budget friendly and affordable and very practical. So I will make my list and I will include what I like in terms of toiletries and I will be very specific on my list. I'm not just gonna write like, oh, I want dry shampoo, which I do, because I love dry shampoo. It's a great thing. Um, but I'm gonna be very specific as to which dry shampoo I would like. Like the brand, as well as like the, the scents of that brand. So for example, instead of writing dry shampoo, I'm gonna write, I want Batiste dry shampoo in the pink or the teal bottle. Those are the ones that I like. That's what I'm gonna put down, because really, Writing dry shampoo can be really overwhelming for someone who doesn't use it. To go to the store and see 15 different kinds of dry shampoo and try to figure out which one you're gonna use. And like nothing is more annoying than getting something you ask for and it's not the one you want and it doesn't work the way you want it to work, right? Like I've gotten crappy dry shampoos. Like, yeah, you might as well ask for what you really want, right? So you can definitely be very specific, put those in there. If you don't wanna make an actual paper list, you can also like, make a list on Amazon and share that with all of your favorite things, especially if it's things you purchase off Amazon often or off your Target or Walmart websites. Try those things out, but be very specific. And also try to be a little bit practical. Now that we've been, we talked about being practical, let's be a little bit unpractical. Let's pick out things that are gonna make my life as a homeschool parent a little bit easier. First thing I'm gonna add to my homeschool list a brand new planner. If you are a homeschool parent and one of your goals is trying to stay organized and stay on top of your lessons and everything, a homeschool planner can be so, so helpful. Um, so definitely you might want to pick one of those up. I personally am a big fan of this one, partially because I make it. Um, but a homeschool planner can really help you um, de-stress, make lists, stay on top of your lesson plans. And if you're a homeschool parent and you don't have one, I highly recommend that you get something to help keep yourself motivated and moving forward in your lessons. So that is my first thing. If you don't have a homeschool planner, you should have definitely put one on your list. Secondly, is while we were talking about planners, definitely a good time to talk about what you're gonna write in your planner with. Ask for some really good pens. I am very particular when it comes to my pens. Um, if you ask Stephen, 
he would tell you that I am very, very particular. I only like certain pens. Pens is like, I like pencils, but I could go kind of here or there on them. Pens, I'm very specific. I like Sharpie pens, fine tip, in black. I don't like the blue. I don't like the red. I don't like any of their other colors. And I don't like the medium tip. It has to be fine tip and it has to be in black. That is just the way I am. This is my preferred pen. But when I want to write in color, I like paper made flares. This is my favorite thing. I like these pens. Um, I go through a pack of paper made flares probably every like six to eight months. So this is a very practical gift, but it's also a really fun gift because it's pretty and writing in pretty colors just makes me really, really happy. So definitely include a pen, a really good pen or a set of markers or something that is going to be writing in your planner or making notes or writing lists, whatever it is. If you're going to write it, you might as well make it fun. So a pack of great pens is definitely a must have. And let me also say that these pens are not for the kids. I do not let my kids use my pens. They have their own markers. They have their own pencils and crayons and all their own writing utensils. These are mommies and mommy doesn't share. Now, another great thing to put on your list if you are a homeschool parent is a great book. I personally love to add a book to my wish list. Sometimes it is it going to be like a fiction or a romance or something um, like that. Sometimes I'm going to be a little more practical and add something that I like a homeschool um, knowledge book for myself. Sometimes it's really hard to find those books available um, cheaply at like a used store because it's not a super popular topic. And our library system is pretty limited on homeschooling books. Like it only has so many. So this is a great time to maybe invest a little bit in a great homeschooling book. So I've got two of my favorites here. I've got Dunning Us Down and I've got The Brave Learner. These are some great books that I absolutely, absolutely love. Um, but if you want more book suggestions, if you've already read these or if you're looking for more homeschooling books, I have a whole video on some of my top homeschooling um, books. Put the link up here for you guys. And so definitely consider adding a homeschooling book because this is going to be not only is it going to be like something for you to enjoy and to read about, but it's actually going to be helping you as a homeschooling parent to, you know, be a better homeschooling parent. It's going to help you have different ideas and techniques or um, approaches and, you know, knowledge is, knowledge is great. And watching, having your kids watch you learn something as well is also a really great modeling technique. So if you are looking to learn something about homeschooling, definitely add a book to your wish list. Have you added a plant to your wish list? I um, love plants. First off, this is a snake plant. If you're looking for a plant that's very uh, hardy, a snake plant might be the way to go if you tend to kill things. This is a great plant because it does not die very easily. Um, but yeah, adding a plant to your wish list can be a really great way to add some greenery and some life to your, your home, especially if you want to add it into your homeschool room or into your space where you tend to do your homeschooling. Plants, like they say, they help purify the air and they help add more oxygen to your air. So you're actually helping get your kids, yourself, get more oxygen to your brains. And they're just really, really cool. So I have quite a few plants. I'm a little bit of a plant lady. Um, if you're looking for really easy plants to start your plant journey. Um, I know a lot of people will suggest succulents. I find succulents are a little bit tricky. Um, you need to have the right light for them for sure. And I don't have a lot of light for succulents, so they don't do very well with me. Um, but things like snake plants, spider plants, pothos, um, it does really well. ZZ plants, jade plants, those all tend to do really well. Um, with very limited light or they're just, they tend to be quite hardy. So definitely look at getting a plant. And if you have lots of plants, it's also a great time to possibly ask for like some pots. So like this guy probably needs a new pot soon. So maybe I think I'm gonna put on my list that I need a bigger pot for this one because he's getting a little tall. A great pot or a great set of pots can be really fun need to add a little character to a room um, for the plants you already have. Or like I said, ask for a new thing because plants are cool. Another great and very popular item that you'll see with a lot of homeschoolers have is a rolly cart. Um, usually they often come with like three baskets. They're on wheels. You can roll them around. If you do not have one, I highly recommend you get one or you put it on your list. They are not overly expensive. Usually you can find them for around $50. Um, they're pretty readily available at a variety of places like Michael's or Winners or Amazon. 
and they are just so versatile. So people use them for all different kinds of things. I've seen a lot of people who, especially if they don't have a homeschool room, that is kind of their homeschool station. The kids, all the kids workbooks and pencils and everything goes in there every day. That's great. I've seen some people use it as like an art station. So it has the different types of art supplies. It's easy to pull out when it's time and put it away when it's done. Some people like to use it as their science station or things like that. I personally love mine. I use mine as my baking cart. So because we do baking on a regular basis, especially with Alexi's food sensitivities, we bake a lot in this house. And so I have all of my baking ingredients in my rolly cart. And so when it's time to bake, basically all I have to do is pull my butter and my eggs out of the fridge and I just wheel my cart over to my mix master and we get to baking. I have everything I need in there. So it definitely makes life really easy for me because I don't have to haul all my ingredients out to the counter. I just bring over my bring over my rolly cart. So if you don't have one, I highly recommend it. Um, they are just, they're just so versatile and you use them for so many different things and they make things really, really portable, which is really, really nice. So definitely something you might want to consider adding to your cart. Other things you might want to add, uh, if you're into a hobby, you might want to add something like that. Um, for example, this year, I'm definitely putting in some wireless headphones. That's something that I would really, really like this year. Um, I've taken up going for walks, especially with our new dog. Um, in the morning before the kids are up and walking with the dog is great, but with the, the string headphones, it kind of makes it a little bit difficult, especially since he's still a puppy and he has to be carried because he has this weird um, behavior that he doesn't like to leave our yard, which is a good thing. But when you try to take him for a walk, he has to be carried about the first block away from our house before he is like, okay, I'll walk. And so carrying him with headphones in while I'm listening to music is kind of a little bit awkward. So I am gonna include on my list of things that I'd like for Christmas is a pair of wireless headphones. And so yeah, you might wanna include something like that, something that's gonna help you do jobs that you're already doing. And wireless headphones are fantastic because if the kids are watching a show or if they're painting and you wanna put on like a podcast or some music or something, you put those on, you're not disturbing them while they're doing their activity but you get to listen to something that you actually want to listen to as well. So definitely if you don't have a pair of wireless headphones, it might be something you might want to look into. We can also talk a little bit about great gift certificates you might want to ask for. So I'm always a big fan of like, say what you want. If you want a pedicure, say that you want a pedicure. This is a great time. A lot of places have a lot of great deals where you spend so much and you get, you know, spend $20 and get an extra $10 in gift certificates. So right now is a great time to ask for things like pedicures or massages. Um, things that you would really, you know, treat yourself, give you a little bit of a break and a day away. Um, also a great time to ask for like gift cards for like your favorite coffee shop, a uh, local bookstore. I love getting um, gift certificates for the used bookstore because I can go in there and get a whole bunch of books for very, very little money. And then I have a whole bunch of things to read, which I love. Um, another great idea, which has become one of my favorite ideas for kids' birthday parties, but it also works really, really well for homeschooling parents as well, gift cards to the dollar store. The dollar store has sometimes the coolest stuff for like so little money. Um, and it, so having a gift card to go and like buy something cool at the dollar store is a super practical gift, but it also is like super cool. Like I said, great gift idea for birthday parties as well for kids because $10 at the dollar store goes a long way. Um, yeah, include places where you might actually want to get a gift card from. Let's let's make it really easy. And so that's what I suggest when it comes to making your wish list um, as a homeschool parent and any parent really. Make a list, make it easy. And again, you don't have to get everything off your list. Like that's not the point of a wish list. It's just an idea to give to your partner or to your kids or whoever you are giving this list to that they have some ideas of what you actually want. And so that hopefully when you receive a gift at Christmas, it's what you want. Um, and then I had a friend who pointed this out. So she said, we do Christmas lists, um, obviously in like November. And then we, she's like, I keep track of like the Christmas list that, you know, her and her husband, as well as her family exchange. She goes, and then after Christmas, she goes, I kind of like check off what I know they got but then it gives me an idea of what to get those people for later on in the year. So she's like, yeah, when we, when, you know, my sister-in-law has a birthday in February, 
I can just look at her list and say, oh, she really likes this brand of, of shampoo or she really likes to go to this store or she really loves these pens. And it gives her an idea of something to pick up for that person later on or throughout the year. Don't be afraid to make a list and include quite a bit, quite a few things because it gives people ideas of what you actually like for later on. I hope you guys like my ideas that I've shared with you. I hope that you guys find something on here that you think would be really practical and really helpful for yourself. And I want you guys down in the comments if you want to share with me what you guys are asking uh, Santa for this year. Um, that would be great. Thank you so much for watching. Um, next week, we're going to definitely talk about what my kids are getting and wanting for Christmas. You'll definitely want to make sure you're subscribed so you get notifications when that video comes out. And if you are not already following us, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, where I'm sharing all kinds of cool things, holiday related, and on those platforms that might not necessarily show up on here. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day.